Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Pat. And this time I want to start talking about one subject that I really had in mind and I haven't been able to compare it. And I think this is the right time to do it. I want to compare it. What do you think about working in freelancer and working in Upwork? Stay with me and let's find out. So, first of all, I'm going to tell you my experience in both platforms. These two platforms are for freelancers. And by the way, and just a disclaimer before I start explaining all of this, this video is, go is going to be less edited. As I mentioned in my live stream, I hope that I can join the live stream or I can put the live stream um, somewhere like on top of the, of the video. And just to, you know, mention it again, what I, what I was trying to say is that I am going to try and less the amount of minutes that the video will be and less the editing for now because I have a little bit of a problem with my computer and I hope that you can realize that and you can cope with me with that. So just a little explanation in between um, Freelancer and Upwork. Freelancer is a free tool. It's a free plat platform. You can have it anywhere. You can use it in your cell phone. You can use it in your in, in a web page. You can search for different companies online and then you can get hired online. And I have explained in different videos about how to use it. Um, I think I have to explain a little bit more and I'm going to try and do some more investigations on it. So wait for that. But the thing is that it is free and nothing against that. The thing is that you need to be really careful about who is going to be your employer, right? So if you want to be hired by someone, you need to make sure that you compare if they're going to, um, if, I mean, to compare specifically if they are a good employer, if they have already been certified, if they have already a payment uh, certified or verified, and if they have already projects working with people in the platform. Because if it's the first time that they are posting something, and if it's the first time that they are hiring something, or I'm sorry, someone, and they are trying to search for you specifically as a freelancer, and they haven't even verified their payment, I will recommend you to wait a little bit, right? Another thing that Freelancer has is that you can message just like Upwork, but you can message, I mean, you, you have like, let's say DMs and they can send you documents over that, I mean, over that way or in that way. And the main problem is, is that they can ask you for money to get into the project and that's another way to scam the freelancers because they want to get hired but they cannot get hired until they pay something so they can receive the work I mean, they can receive um, anything right and that's not correct that's not correct so that's for freelancer I will still recommend and try to be cautious if you're going to use that platform i know it's really open i have had different applications in it and i have had different people that try to hire me but at the same time it wasn't even remotely possible because they were asking for less price they were asking for something that i don't know it couldn't be done i i actually didn't like that so that's one that's freelancer 
upward on the other hand is something that you can actually count on and even though it was for free at first and now it's a payment site and it's not because you have to pay for a membership you have to pay for the normal currency that you have and mention it for um, for a freelancer and upward for freelancer you have I think it's bits so you have eight bits per month and for upwork you have zero connects now so you have to pay for the connects for you to get online and apply to a contract right so I think for every connect it was about three cents or see or six cents per connect and you can spend around six connects in a proposal that's the bad part of Upwork but the good part of Upwork is that you have real employers and you have real jobs in that platform I had already experience in it I have already earned in that platform I have my proof I can show you I can link the video so you can well a certain point here in the in the video for you guys that you can check the videos that I have explaining with proof that I have already working up work and I have already been paid so those things are important to realize that you can get better employers but don't get me wrong you can also get bad employers in Upwork the only thing that you need to start searching for is that they are verified I think that's something in every single part in every single web page that you want to try you need to search for that you need to know that it's verified that they will pay you and it's not the first time that they have been online so well that's about it for what I have to say. If you tell me in the end what should I choose from, I think that the one that I wanted to choose in this time is Upwork. Upwork for me, even though it's a paid site, I will definitely recommend. Freelancer, on the other hand, I will try to be cautious as I said. I wouldn't say no completely, but I know that there are lots of people that wants to rebate on the price and wants to try and you know try to give you lower for the price and that's something that the freelancers don't want to do because they want to charge for their services as much as they think they can charge right you want to earn the money as the projects are coming in right you don't want to earn only a couple of bucks for a really big project do you so that's my main advice try to check on upwork try to get your profile done in upwork maybe don't pay it at first but you may be called if a company is interested in you and they will make you to calling to the contract even though you haven't paid for any connects and in freelancer as i said i will be cautious trying to check on the you know different employers that we have around and i would say okay this one is perfect or this one is not the one it could be a scam so just make sure to check that and that's all that i have to say in this video i hope that you like it and if you like it please let me know in the comments if you have something else that you want to tell me or you want me to talk about here let me know as well so thank you guys for listening to me and I hope to see you guys soon.